Hi guys! In this video, we are taking you on an adventure to two hidden Sicilian gems that you've probably never heard of, but absolutely need to visit. We'll show you how to get there and trust us, these towns are perfect places to dive into authentic Sicilian culture and meet the locals who make it all so special. If you're ready for off-the-beaten-path charm, delicious food, and unforgettable experiences, stick with us as we reveal the secret spots. Where are you, Anna? I don't know, Nicosia. Nicosia, Cyprus? Yes. Get ready to a journey to Nicosia. And yes, it's in Sicily. Known as the city of the 24 barons, this charming town has roots dating back to before the year 1000, with a rich Byzantine origin. Imagine wandering through its medieval streets, where every twist and turn reveals ancient buildings and historic churches that whisper tales of past, or just an ambulance coming through. Nicosia is a cultural mosaic shaped by the Normans, Arabs, Byzantines and Spanish influences, all adding flavor to the local Gallo-Italic dialect. Let's go after Nono. He knows the way. If he can do it, we can do it. Yeah? Yes. Are we on the right way? He said follow on. Yes, but he's going home. I'm going home as well. <laughs> Why should you visit this fascinating Sicilian town? Well, because it's Sicily's hidden gem, full of charm and easygoing vibes, local greet you with a smile and life moves at a chill pace. Perfect for adventurers seeking the real off the beaten path Sicily. One of the things to do in Nicosia is to admire the Palazzo Speciale di Malia that screams aristocratic grandeur. Built by the wealthy Speciale family, this palace was their fancy crib, showing off just how important and rich, obviously, they were in town. This town was built on a hillside, so many of the streets are steep, leading up and down the slopes, offering stunning views of the surrounding countryside. This layout also means that the streets often twist and turn in unexpected ways, with hidden alleys and staircases waiting to be discovered. While you're in Nicosia, you can savor traditional Sicilian dishes at local restaurants and trattorias. Nicosia is known for its hearty cuisine, including homemade pasta, local cheese and pastries. You can visit artisan shops in the town to purchase local crafts such as ceramics, textiles and woodwork. These items reflect the rich cultural heritage of the region and make for unique souvenirs. Nicosia is home to numerous historic churches, each with its own unique art and architecture. The Cathedral of San Nicolao or Cathedrale di San Nicolao di Bari it's a 14th century masterpiece built on the bones of an even older church. This place is like a medieval time capsule that got fancier with every renovation. Unfortunately, when we visited the town, the cathedral was closed, so we didn't get the chance to visit the beautiful interiors.
Good. We are enjoying this uh, village, city, by yeah. now. Yeah, it's okay. It has some nice streets. And they have some rooms inside the rocks. You can see them from far. They've carved inside the rocks and... Yeah, we're gonna do some uh, pictures. Yeah. So and here pictures. you can see, again, a lot of uh, carvings. Very detailed carvings. Yeah, look at the stairs, how no, they are made. Yeah, yeah. Take a look. No, they have the, some interesting uh, things here. Yeah. Nicosia, like many other Sicilian towns, has many empty buildings due to depopulation as younger generations moved to the cities for work. Economic struggles and costly restoration requirements for historic properties add to the issue, while rural and urban migration leaves many homes vacant. Balcony, yeah. toilet. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, they didn't use the toilet in these houses. Yeah. And they didn't use this. Yeah. yeah. It looks like the drainage. No? Yes, it is. Cactus or something, but it's not cactus because you can eat the fruits, I think. Like a cactus, but it has spines like cactus. Actually, you can see from the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Take a look from inside. Oh yeah, you can see. <laughs> so actually, there is no wall on the other side. It's no wall. No? Nice view from here. Look at my forehead. What I got to your sunburn head? from <laughs> up on the, <laughs> the volcano. And uh, what about this? Uh, this uh, small town? Yeah. Nicosia. It's nice. It's very quiet. If you if you're planning to have your retirement and not to care about what's happening around the world, <laughs> I think this is the perfect place to come and to buy a house. Why do you say this? It's very quiet and in these small towns, villages or whatever, it feels like the time stops. Like the days are longer, no one is rushing. Yeah, it's a totally different feeling from what we have uh, back home. So you don't stress here? No, you don't really stress here. I mean, if you have a house and you have a small amount of money that are coming life it's beautiful <laughs> bella la vita, la vita è, bella. è bella yes and dolce fa niente see you in the next uh, see you in the city. next city town village <laughs> bye bye you must be wondering by now how far nicosia is from the big cities no worries, it's just 2 hours and 20 minutes from Palermo by car and a quick 1 hour and 30 minutes from Catania. Our top tip for you 
it's to book yourself a cozy stay at the charming family run spot like we did. We paid 110 euros for two nights with the breakfast included. It's nestled in nature, surrounded by picturesque landscapes, and the only noise you'll hear is the bird song. Plus, it's just a 15 minutes drive to Nicosia and 35 minutes to the next stop on our adventure, Serami. You'll need a car to explore this part of Sicily, but the good news is that renting is super affordable. We snagged a jeep for a whole week at just 250 euros with full insurance included. This is a very old city, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Founded by the... Founded by Greeks. More than 2,000 years ago, actually. 2,000... Uh, 5th century before Christ. 4th yeah. century before Christ. So it's quite old. <laughs> didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah, and the name, I think, means... Cerami in Greek means Terracotta. Ah, so... Another old city. Cerami, it's a small and charming town in Sicily's Enna province that is dating back to the Byzantine and Norman periods, the same as Nicosia. This remote town offers a tranquil escape with plenty of authentic experiences to savor. Here are some activities to enjoy. 1. Wander the medieval streets. Immerse yourself in history by strolling throughout narrow, cobblestone streets lined with centuries-old buildings and charming shops. 2. Taste local Sicilian cuisine. Savor the flavors of Sicily at the local restaurants, where you can sample traditional dishes like arancini, caponata and fresh seafood all made with local ingredients. experience local festivals. Depending on the time of the year, the town comes alive with traditional festivals featuring lively processions, folk music and delicious Sicilian street food. Be sure to research ahead to catch this cultural celebration and enjoy the vibrant atmosphere. the door there. <laughs> Not anymore. Buenas sera. Salve. Explore the castle ruins. For the adventurers, the free-to-visit castle ruins are a must-see. While the climb may be challenging, it's worth the effort for breathtaking views and the chance to explore this piece of ancient history. Just make sure you wear comfortable shoes. This blend of nature, culture and gastronomy makes this town a perfect peaceful retreat.
we hope you discovered new things about the central Sicily. And if you like our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification button.